Wait, little kitty. What happened? Well, why don't you look around yourself? No, no, no. They aren't some decoratives, but real animals turned into stones after coming in contact with this lake. Really? Yes. So in today's episode, let us dive into the science of this mystical water by answering a stony question. What if you jumped into Lake Nathrin? Zoom in. If you ever get a chance to visit Africa, do come to Tanzania, a country famous for its vast wilderness consisting of giant animals like rhinos, elephants, hippos and more. But far away from this nature's beauty lies a toxic red water body called Lake Nathrin, which just like Medusa is known to turn any living creature into stone. How? Well, before we jump into that, let us see what this mystical lake is made of. Unlike other lakes, Natron doesn't run into the ocean but is locked into the deserted region. As a result, the water coming from rain has nowhere to go but to get accumulated. And once the stored water evaporates, it leaves behind high concentrations of salt, increasing its salinity. This salt component serves as a perfect breeding ground for a type of poisonous algae called Arthospira, which contains a red pigment that gives the lake its rosy red shade. But what makes this lake more toxic is its close proximity to an active volcano named Ol Tonyo Lengai. This volcano erupts a strange kind of lava full of sodium and potassium carbonate called natrocarbonatite or natrin from which this lake got its name. This lava is constantly flowing into the lake's water which has increased its acidic pH level to as high as 10.5, which is close to that of ammonia. But the vital question is, what if someone makes the mistake of entering this highly alkaline salty water? Well, first of all, taking a high dive could be dangerous as the lake is shallow and contains sharp salty structures that could cause severe injuries. Secondly, during certain times of the year, Lake Nathan's water temperature can rise up to 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hot enough to cause third degree burns in less than five seconds. On top of that, in case someone swallows the bacteria rich water, it will cause severe damage to the person's internal organs. We know that because many of the birds and animals that drink from Lake Natron usually don't survive. But the vital question is, how can this lake turn someone into stone? Well, that happens due to the salty and alkaline chemical composition of this lake, which is pretty similar to what ancient Egyptians used to mummify or preserve a body. However, the person won't instantly turn into stone like a magic trick. But if they happen to drown and stay submerged over a long period of time, their entire body would harden up and get preserved like a mummy as Natron's super high alkanity stops the decomposition process. So, if Lake Nathrin is on your touring list, then make sure to enjoy its serene beauty from a distance. Trivia time! Did you know that Lake Nathrin's toxic water does not negatively affect the flamingos? Yes, 
That's because of their tough skin and scaly legs, which prevent burns. And on top of that, their strong stomachs allow them to feed on harmful bacteria. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, no! Oh, my statue! Sure, never mind. <laughs>